Hey, sports fans, it's Larry Eater with Run Blog Run. This is the epilogue to Socialing the Distance featuring Des Linden. Uh, I love Des Linden. She's just fun. She's a tough racer. She likes to put it all on the line. She has the respect of serious athletes. She has the admiration of citizen runners. Um, she's just a likable person. And I just spent 35 minutes with her asking every question that crossed my mind. Um, just so you know, I follow the Lenten method of interviewing. Uh, Lenten method is named after Brian Lenten, who is a rather eccentric Australian writer that I've never met person to person, but we corresponded and I worshipped his books back in the late 70s and early 80s. He was a friend of Rob DiCostella's and let me see and understand and appreciate the Australian running scene. And he did, uh, he never, he did not believe in having preordained questions. He would kind of go with the flow, but he added something to the conversation, which was a six pack of an adult beverage that he would share with the interview, uh, interviewee. Uh, among those was Ron Clark, Sir Roger Bannister, not sure if Sir Roger Bannister popped one with him, but I'm pretty sure Ron Clark did. Um, and Brendan Foster, and I have these books of interviews uh, through the tape. They are just glorious. And uh, sometime uh, I'll ask Brian about letting us put some of these things up online because they are absolutely amazing. So I have digressed, but you guys expect that. Anyway, so now you know my method of... Uh, of interviewing. Uh, so I started out with um, Des with the 2011 race. Where else? Where, why wouldn't you start there? It was a race where she took second in Boston and people went absolutely ape shit over her uh, performance. And she smiled a little bit and just talked about how she told herself that she'd get to 20 miles and if she could get to 20 miles, then it could be a race after that. And she battled it to the very, very end. I think she ran the last mile like 518, it was insane, 222 performance there. Um, Des uh, talked about um, how much she enjoyed cross country and how cross country is pretty cool because it's not about the time, it's about how you're racing against someone else. Uh, I got to ask her about being coached by Walt Drent, and it sounds like a, a, a very good relationship and a nice coach-athlete uh, relationship as well. And uh, we talked about training during the time of COVID. She's eating one workout a day, and then she's reading books and spending time with her husband and grinding some coffee for him, and we'll get the link up for their coffee company. Um, in a typical non-pandemic week, she's doing somewhere between 120 and 130 miles a week. Before the trial, she was up to 130, feeling really good. And uh, our discussion about the trials, uh, Des said that she gave it everything she could, and for that level of fitness... She was pretty happy with it. Um, she's open to races over this fall and winter, but, you know, she's a marathoner, and there's not going to be much out there right now. Um, and we talked a little about uh, doping, whereabouts tests, which she says, you know, she's trying to give people a break. Uh, you should be able to handle it, but things come up. And I think that's just typical of uh, Des Linden is that she – is pretty straightforward, and she believes that um, you got to see both sides of the story. But she's a gutty performer. Uh, I've got to see her run cross country, uh, run the 10 on the track, and I've seen, I think, everyone but one marathon performance. Um, I look forward to seeing her again. I asked her also to uh, describe various courses and describe uh, – various athletes she's competed with. That was a lot of fun too. So uh, thank you, Des Linden, and um, enjoy Charlevoix, Michigan for the rest of the summer. This is Larry Eater with Run Blog Run, and this is uh, Socialing the Distance featuring Des Linden. Talk to you soon.